Hello everyone. So first I wanted to dedicate this um this video to Rabbi Label Groner, passed away passed away today. Um devoted chassid of the Rabbi for forty year forty years. And um you should uh should have Mashiach already. This is uh, it's, uh the, the the theme of this uh this video is uh, transforming bitterness into sweetness. The current situation, um, all the, the suffering, um, is a very bitter situation. And we we pray that at every moment that uh, we should have a sweetening, the ultimate sweetening with, with uh, Mashiach and the redemption. So I wanted to bring a few points on... Um, from Rabbi Yitzchak Ginsburg's book, Body, Mind, and Soul. Um, first, to uh, add a the disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. Um, the I, it, idea is not to dispense uh, treatment he, uh, in this video, but to understand the psychological underpinnings behind the headlines, to to see behind, beyond the surface, and to know that everything, understand that everything happens by divine providence, and for a reason, and uh, everything according to God's plan, and there's there's reasons for for everything that we are observing currently. Uh, so specifically in this uh, in this video, I want to discuss uh, the psychology be beyond behind the reaction to the use of of immunosuppressive drug uh, an immunosuppressive drug as re as related to COVID nineteen. And uh, it's in the news, right? Um, hydrochloroquine, uh, chloroquine. Uh, you know, I, again, I, the idea I'm, I'm trying to do is to to abstract it, um, to understand, to understand according to Torah, according to the inner dimension of Torah, uh, what's going on. So there's there's actually a wealth, uh, a great deal discussed that, that, that's related to, to our present um, discussion, our present situation that we find ourselves in. Uh, it's not explicit in this book, but there's a lot of gems that are hidden, hidden gems from this book published in 2004. One of them uh, relates to the law of similars. It's healing like by like, and this is termed the highest level of healing right below the, the highest level, which is the healing through through Torah, through pure spiritual healing, which is any time that we are discussing uh, a bitter situation, of something somebody needs is in need of healing or, or, or in need of anything. It's a, it's a very tr a troubling situation to, to heal, to, to shed light on that situation is uh, through Torah, through Torah learning, through connecting with God, through prayer in our simple faith. And Specifically, right now, we're, we're discussing a, a means to recti rectifying the situation. So, I discussed in previous videos how um, the, 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 the Kabbalah, the spiritual side of respiratory uh, illnesses and, and, and the treatment for respiratory illnesses. Again, this is based on, on various even uh, recent uh, t teachings and and responses of Rabbi Ginsburg, because many people are asking questions, and uh, what, what can they do? Um, advice, spiritual advice, and uh, so that's, I, I referenced that in other videos. So again, in this video, I wanted to, to hone in on, on immunosuppressive uh, drugs, the use of them to, uh, as possibly uh, a way to alleviate some of the symptoms of, of COVID-19 of coronaviruses in general. And also, interestingly enough, that in this in this book, there's a whole chapter on lupus. So the the correspondence between coronavirus and lupus, I mean, you know I haven't found it. I haven't found it said explicitly that there is a connection. But it's very interesting, according to, to, to Kabbalah, according to, according to again, uh, references, references in this book that are all based on Torah sources, that 
that there is something very interesting. So I, first of all, so what does an immunosuppressive drug do? So it's, it suppresses the immune system. And this is, this is helpful if the, if the immune system is overreactive in a way that's, that is not being helpful. Right? So, um, let me just go to, um, go to the lupus section of, of the book. Okay. The problem with, I'm, I'm just reading from page, this is chapter six of the book. It's page, um, 151. And uh, I'll link to uh, where to purchase the book after. The problem with lupus or any autoimmune disease arises from a misconstrued fear. The body reacts as if a healthy element is a foreign intruder. As explained above, the fear of intrusion is the essence of the fear of the wolf. And it goes into explaining that in detail. So misconstrued fear. So we have to to only uh, have all of God, and even elevated a, a bit higher than, than than fearing God is to have all of God, to be in all of God, and to know that uh, that uh, anything else in this world is not not to be afraid of. So we have to to be to strengthen our faith and trust in God. That's what we talked about, uh, about strengthening the immune system relates to the tamimus, about sincerity and earnesty, wholeheartedness, just simply serving God. So what does an immunosuppressant do, do? So the immune system is overreacting. It's, it's, it's not being helpful, right? So you suppress the immune system in such a way that it's, uh, it lessens it lessens the uh, effect of uh, here. Let me just read this paragraph. As an immune system disease, lupus creates a situation in the immune system where it is unable to distinguish the healthy cells of a person's own body from harmful invading particles. The result is that the body produces self-reacting antibodies, antibodies that fight against the healthy cells of the body. So, we're talking about the rectification of Hod, the, the divine channel, the sphere of Hod. And it's, first of all, we have to know who we all are. We have to have proper self-identity and reject, uh, truly reject foreign elements, meaning to, to live our lives according to, to what, a, what God wants from us, according to the Torah, and to fight off First of all, to fight off doubt and fear, uh, but to, to strengthen more than that, to, 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 to turn away from evil and to do good. And to, to turn, to, to go towards a life of serving God. Okay. So that's, that's related to, to lupus. So I'm going to link to this article from the, From the New York Times, and it's interesting. It, it 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 speaks about the overreaction, the dangerous overreaction of the immune system. That's a literal quote, causing a a, a cytokine storm. So it's interesting because you could look at the. I'm not gonna. Uh, Try to explain it. It's this very nice article about about what is what it, how this leads to otherwise healthy people. Perhaps um, in previous uh, in previous uh, viruses coming ill and God forbid uh, passing away uh, due due to these uh, cytokine storms. They overtake people of any age, but some scientists believe they, they may explain why healthy people died during the 1918 pandemic and more recently during the SARS, MERS, and H1N1 epidemics. So, 
So here we have an overreaction of the immune system. And we have an, an, an immunosuppressant called hydrochloroquine. Now, in uh, Dr. Zelenko's cocktail with zinc, so the interaction with zinc and, uh, and hydrochloroquine is well known. This is a, uh, a link to the study from NIH, National Institute of Health, Institutes of Health, and uh, it says that chlor chloroquine is a zinc ionophore, which means it helps it to, to enter the cell. Um, again, I'm not an expert in this, but that's... So on the surface, maybe it's just that uh, the chloroquine and, and uh, hydrochloroquine are, are... It's an ionophore for zinc, and... So it helps it, it helps it enter, and the zinc, the zinc helps uh, stop the proliferation of uh, of viruses, and 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 uh, it helps to, to to enable the immune system to do its job. So this is one reading of it, but according to um, if there is a relationship, and it's not just random that it's the same uh, same thing that's used for both the lupus and. Uh, and uh, coronavirus, this is a potential uh, a potential uh, correspondence between the two. Are the, again are these um, are these cytokine storms? Okay, so now back to uh, to the spiritual uh, Kabbalah of this. Is it why? What's the inner? Meaning, like people ask, why, why is this happening? What's going on? Uh, what can we learn from this, and how can we stop it? Um, on, on a spiritual side, side, what does God want from us? Uh, so the first thing we said is to to fear God alone, but that shouldn't be like fearing. It should be just to be in all of God alone. And anything uh, to, to also to turn away from evil, to to fear something besides God is also like evil. Like we should all only see see good, turn and um, pursue good, which is fulfilling our mission, our purpose in life, which is uh, what God wants from us here in this world. Uh, there's also. Um, it's interesting that here it talks about lupus as a uh, being a, um, a collagen disease. This is on page 154. And it's very, I'm just going to read this. It's very interesting because psychologically, this is what we're experiencing now, which is also another possible indication that there, there may be something to these, um, to the, some, some issue with the overreaction of the immune system in, in coronavirus. Again, possibly, because... Anyway, let, let, me, let me read here. When lupus afflicts the connective tissue in the body, the result can be sore joints, a symptom of arthritis. This also parallels problems of the psyche, as in psychological disorders relating to disconnection of feeling disconnected or alienated from God or from other people. So right now, what, what does everyone say? Stay at home together. That we should really seek to, 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 to reach out to others, others in need, uh, think about others, pray for others, uh, even though we're on in our, our respective homes, to, to, to still bring out this sense of community. And, and thank God there's, there's been... An outpouring of uh, of charity and support, and and people help uh, going out of their way to help others, and uh, and the, the thanks for the uh, for the for the first responders and all of that. It's it's a it's a wonderful thing that that is is while this is a great hardship uh, to see all the the good that's coming out of it of people people coming closer together. In the terminology of Kabbalah, the root of the problem lies in how one understands the doctrine of the tzimtzum, or divine contraction in the creative process. Tzimtzum refers to God's apparent withdrawal of his infinite light in order to create finite reality. If one understands this to be literal, that God is not to be found in reality, 
then one will feel disconnected from God. In lupus, this phenomenon shows up in the body as empty space between cells and tissue that are lacking connection. When the body interprets this emptiness as literal, experiencing the distance between the disparate joints of the body, pain and soreness will ensue. So again, psychologically, I'm not saying uh, physio physiologically, uh, psychologically, we are seeking to, for, to, to realize that God is in every place at every moment, and we're all together in this. We're all connected. So this is a way to, to rectify um, in this, seemingly that this is the, the, a divine providence of our situation is that we are put in place and uh, but to still to feel connected. So this is a an abstraction of even of lupus. Right? Lupus this is experienced in the body itself. And now we're all viewed as as one all one organism, one one uh, one body as it were. All in this together. So it's uh it's on a communal scale, which is a very interesting thing to, to meditate upon. That um, is a rectification for what, what's going on. So I'm going to keep reading. On the psychological level, clearly, if we feel disconnected psychologically and socially from other people, we will not be able to form comfortable bonds with others. Ultimately, the psychological weakness of feeling disconnected from other results, from spiritual disconnectedness from God, and may well find physical expression as a collagen disease. So again, this is this was in relation to, to lupus, but uh, this is a very much relates in again in general to our to our situation that we find ourselves in. It and then it talks about it goes on to talks about the spiritual treatment that we, um, we uh, to perceive that Simpson, the, the divine attraction, is non-literal, and uh, we awaken to our consciousness that God is present on every level of reality, and, and that our sense of disconnection is only a matter of perception. So, I encourage you to, to pick up that book, I think I'm going to end here.